resulting in trauma to the heart and soul. The loss of jobs, economic down tolls, downturns, and all of this associated fallout. The high cost of living or in some instances the cost of living high. <laughs> And these things sometimes cause us to lose focus. Cause us to wring our hands with sighs and moans, but no relief shows up. Crocodile tears, but no reprieve. These storms tore our plans, battle our brains, serve as the enemy of our soul's interests at our expense. We can forget the original plan. Sometimes the purpose is obscure and we lose sight of the goal where we were headed and the objective of our commission and often in a place where we don't want to be. Nobody here is immune from these feelings. As my dad used to say way back in the day, just keep living if you haven't had that experience today. But as we begin to look at the animals of time, the question is posed, can somebody help us? Is there a word? Is there an encouragement? Is there an example from scripture that we can point to? Let me direct your attention for a few moments to the book of Luke. Second through the twenty six verses. Can you get it? Say that. Now it came to pass on a certain day that he went into a ship with his disciples and he said unto them, Let us go over unto the other side. And he launched forth, but as they sailed, he fell asleep. And there came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water, and were ejected. And they came to him and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water. And they ceased, and there was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they being afraid, wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he commanded even the winds and water, and they obeyed him. Verse 26, And they arrived at the country of the gatherings, which is over against Galilee. Here we find the Lord Jesus with his disciples, his followers. In the process of taking a ship ride, this sailing did not involve sails, but at that time it involved individuals growing with them. It's interesting that Jesus needed and requested the help of the disciples. He wanted to cross the lake. The lake was only about a mile. He could have walked around the lake, but he wanted to go by boat in order to press away from the crowd. Sometimes you have to press away from the crowd. Sometimes you have to move away from those that you think mean you well. Preachers, you can't run with everybody. You can't embrace everything. Amen. Say so. I oftentimes wonder whether or not those of us who really call it the mouse and mouse category and it's not what it is now. But I just wonder whether or not we would be able to go back into those same places and be comfortable. The flip side of that, can you go into those same places and 